Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. Sometimes you just gotta create a pie chart. Why? I don't know why. Maybe you need to show some statistical data of some type. Now, while it's true, you could go into Excel or OpenOffice in order to do this. Sometimes you just need a real quick, easy way of making a chart, graph, or whatever it is you want to do. There's actually this uh, Kids Zone site, which is uh, nces.ed.gov slash blah, blah, blah. Don't I'll link this in the sidebar. Don't worry about it. It will be there. And this goes to uh, create a graph. This is actually really cool because you can create a graph really easily. So I'll just create a pie chart. And uh, we're going to design it first. So I will choose pie. And I will make it 3D with a gradient and a legend on the right side. And I'll click on data. All right, graph title riches bitchin pie chart source rich data set we'll have five pie slices okay we'll make apple lemon lime blueberry and peach and apple is red lemon is yellow lime Green, blueberry is blue, peach is, well, yeah, that looks like a peachy color. So let's see here, 25, 10, 15, 25, oops, 25 and 25. This equals 100. You want to make sure that your values equal 100, obviously. Then we go to the labels section, and uh, what I will do is change the font size so they are large. You can actually choose what font you want. You don't have that many colors, excuse me, many styles, but that's okay. Then we go to the preview section. And there is Rich's Bitchin' Pie Chart. There it is, all nice and colorful-like. Has a little legend on the right side. And then I can go to Print and Save. Uh, I can either choose to print it from here, email it to myself, or download it. So I'll click Download. Then it brings up this uh, Download a Graph thing. You can choose PDF, PNG, JPEG, EMF, EPS, SVG, I will go with the PNG format, download, and then open it with my graphics editor, and there is my pie chart. Let's close that. That's it. That's basically how to do it. Now, yes, you can have much more detailed uh, charts. Oh, and by the way, let me just show you something else, too. We can change what we just did. So if I decide to go solid and then go preview, now it's solid color instead of gradient. If I go to design and go to uh, pattern preview, now it's got all sorts of pattern. Doesn't look that good, but it's there. If I go to gradient and then choose to do line instead and preview, it keeps all the data. And uh, well, obviously, I'd have to change the title because it's not a pie chart anymore. But uh, or if I go to X Y. Uh, switching, oops, that will say it will erase. Okay, we won't do that one. We'll do area and preview. It shows my pie chart, which is not a pie chart at that point. And go back to pie. Yes. Did it save my data? Uh, well, it got rid of my colors, but that's okay. You get the idea. Uh, this is really easy to use, and it's uh, on the website that I mentioned. It's in the sidebar, so you can. If you're a really lazy person like I am and you want to make a really quick pie chart that you can insert in a blog post or something like that, this is definitely the easiest way to do it. Take it easy.